This is no way to start a video, but welcome guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Angel PT, and as you can see very quickly, the game is completely maxed out, so if you want to check the settings with more attention and more focusing, I fully suggest you to go back and pause uh, the, the video, because uh, I was in the start of the competitive when I started to record, and so it was hard uh, to show you the settings very quickly. So, welcome guys, this is Rocket League by Psyonix, and, and it's running with Unreal Engine 3, and you might ask, you might ask this... Why I'm doing another Rocket League video? Because I have another Rocket League video benchmark on my channel of my desktop and my laptop long time ago. Well, you might ask and I will tell you from the beginning. So this winter there was the winter sales on the Steam and on the store and I decided to buy Rocket League and GTA 5. It was only the two buys that I made <laughs> this winter because I have a ton of single player games. I don't want much more single player games to complete when I don't have time for them. Uh, the global problem affecting all the users with Steam accounts. It's uh, a lot of games and no time. Well, let's talk now about the Rocket League. So, I actually installed Rocket League first because it was smaller and when I decided to give it a run, I noticed that the game was performing much better than it was before because the game on... when I benchmarked the game a lot of time ago to my channel, the game hardly sustained the 60 FPS's on the maximum settings. I fully, I fully remember that problem. And by now, it's completely different. The game completely sustains the 60 FPS very easily. In most of the maps, if I unlock the frame rate, it reaches 100 FPS's or even more with no problems. The only exception is the Aquadome, which is the most demanding map of the game, and which was um, the map that I decided to benchmark. Okay, so you can check the results that I got um, uh, without recording and without VSync or any limitation regarding the frame rate on the description of the video or by clicking on the red rectangle saying frame rate. So my test was made in the Aquadome with free versus free on with bots. So it can't get more demanding than that. And even that way, the game never dropped from below 72 or something like that 72 frames per second so the game performance is much better by now and it's impressive and that is the reason why i decided to make another rocket league video just to to keep you informed about that so you can expect to another laptop video of rocket league since the game wasn't running too well and by now it should be much more better uh, much better so you can expect a new video of Rocket League on my laptop. So, hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the performance section of the video. This was one match on the Aquadome with free versus free with bots, like I did tell you at the very beginning of the video. So the frame rate was averaging about 86 FPS with a minimum of 72 and the maximum FPS as well of, uh, maximum FPS of 105. So, the game was completely maxed out, the optimization by now is great. I uh, remember that I had the drops from 60 FPS uh, when I decided to benchmark before this new version, okay? And I can't even imagine with Aquadome, it should be much worse than it is. But by now the game just runs perfectly fine. And so, with the HD 7850 and the Fenon 2, it's completely assured that you can get 60 FPS all the time. And I love to play with the V-Sync. So as you can see, 0% of drop of dropping frames from 60 on my test of consistency, obviously, since there wasn't any frame below than 60. So let's check the other stuff. So the game just used 800 megabytes of VRAM, so it's fine, even for 1 gigabyte uh, users of the HD 7850. The RAM usage was around 3.2 gigabytes, so if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM, you should be okay with the game. The CPU usage was overing between the 40 and 65%, and the GPU usage was 97% to 99 So you might say that, yeah, there is a little bit of bottleneck in there. Not really, it's just on the start of the game, you see that uh, the Unreal Engine is uh, starting to load the uh, textures and stuff at the very beginning, so the first seconds the GPU usage is a little bit lower than it is supposed to, but it just lasts for 5 and or 7 seconds, and then it's fine. It just go, go back to the GPU usage at 99%, and the frame rate to its maximum. So that's how I want to talk about Rocket League, hope you did enjoy the video and the updates to the, to the other video. The performance is now much better, finally. And thank you a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.